know it's not Halloween without our first guest. You may know her best as Marnie from Disney's Halloween Town. Please welcome Kimberly J. Brown joining us this morning virtually on Skype. Hello, Kimberly. Hello. I oh. have to say I love how you've dressed for the occasion. Yes. You, you make a very good looking cookie monster. <laughs> Thank you, Kimberly. Oh, my goodness. So we got the little uh, bubbling going up over here. Everything's all decked mm -hmm. out for you. I mean, when we found out you were going to come on, we're like, we have to do something spectacular for her. <laughs> this is Kimberly J. Brown for crying out loud. So, <laughs> I love yeah. it. Thank you. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, you look fantastic, and it's so great to have you here joining us for our special little Halloween show. Thank you. No, thanks for having me. This is awesome. Yes, absolutely. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So Halloween Town okay. is actually part of Freeform's 31 Nights of Halloween. How honored does it feel to be part of the lineup and to still see this movie, you know, be loved by so many? And of course, to the kids that are growing up in our world today. It's incredible. I It's been amazing over the years to watch it grow. And certainly uh, I have met just generations of families that have watched it when they were kids and then grew up and then have now have kids of their own that watch it. And it's just the biggest honor because it's, um, it's not only flattering to have people watch something you make as an actor and go, Oh, I liked it. And, and that's, you know, always, always makes an actor happy, but like to have it live on this long and everything, um, is a testament to all of the amazing fans. And, um, I'm just, I'm so touched that people, still watch it and consider it like a, a part of their traditions every year. Oh, absolutely. So this has to be like your favorite holiday, right? Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> it, I mean, Halloween and Christmas are, are probably my two favorites and I've, but I've loved Halloween since I was a kid. I always loved dressing up in costume and the idea of becoming other people, which is really no wonder as to why uh, I have been an actor my whole life. But yeah. yes, this, the, the, you know, the young kid in me loves this. Kimberly, do you think you'll ever do a Christmas movie? Oh, I would be very open to doing a Christmas movie. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding? Yeah, oh there's a lot of holiday cheer that, uh, that mm. those movies bring, and I, I love that feeling, too. Well, we already know you're the queen of Halloween, so there I said, oh, that kind of rhymes, doesn't <laughs> it? You. The queen of Halloween. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Look at me rhyming over here, Kimberly. Oh, my goodness. Well, now, as you and the cast continue to grow older, have you all stayed in touch over the years? We definitely have. I, social media has been very helpful in that because we all have stayed friends and been able to see what we've, you know, been up to over the years. But I, I talked to, I probably talked to Judith Hogue the most personally, who played uh, my mom Gwen. But um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm still in touch with a, a lot of the, the main Cromwell family and a lot of the supporting characters too. And it's, it's so nice to be able to. Uh, we, we genuinely had a great time working together and loved that we got to do it over and over again. So um, sure. we just, we get a kick out of being able to watch this with all the fans and, and uh, we're just, we're all so touched. Oh my goodness. So how is it like to actually watch a younger Marnie, a younger Kimberly on screen? <laughs> it's an interesting, it's an interesting experience for sure. I have never been a huge fan of, of watching myself on screen in general, Me <laughs> but um, I, I see the movies sometimes a little bit here and there now with, my nephews and some of my good friends, little kids that are, you know, around five years old and watch the movies now. And um, it, it's given it a new life for me. So I've, I've watched them a little bit through their eyes and it's, it's fun. Now, Debbie Reynolds, she is so iconic, but what is one thing you would never forget about being able to work with her? Oh, wow. There's so many things. Um, I, I, it, it touched me very early on how, um, just how loving and kind she was towards people, mm. people she was working with or fans. And she always wanted people to feel happy and to be lifted up around her, whether it was mm. trying to help a crew member move a ladder when we were on set or stopping, uh, taking a break while we were filming to go say hi to some of the fans that were waiting outside of our set. She always wanted to connect with people and let them know just how much they meant to her. And um, for somebody certainly of that stature in Hollywood, um, it was just refreshing to see somebody that constantly wanted to acknowledge everybody that got her there and everybody that was working in tandem with her. And I thought that was a great thing for me to see, like, you know, so early on. 
You know, to see Marnie and Grandma in Halloween Town, their iconic scene of when I think Grandma teaches Marnie how to fly. I love mm -hmm. that scene. Talk to us <laughs> more about that. Like, how was it like? How was that process like? Because um, I'm sure you guys probably were like on a green screen and like from wire, maybe? <laughs> Very, very close. Yes, we were in front of a blue screen, but it was actually um, the broom was set up on a very tall um, stool almost. But it was a you know, so we sat up there for a good chunk of the day, and they kind of tilted the the seat back and forth so we could you know they could film us from different angles oh, wow. and we could pretend to be flying. But that was probably one of my all time favorite days of filming because it was our last day of shooting, the first movie, and it was the first time she and I really got to just sit one-on-one -on -one and hang out all day while we were working. Mm -hmm. And so she just was cracking jokes and telling great stories and <laughs> making sure, you know, that my dad got pictures of us together and just, mm. it was just so great. So special. And I love that we got to fly on a broom. Like the kid in me was right. like that, that type of role, you know, doesn't come along all the time to get to yeah. pretend to have magic power. So that was the actor in me was like also completely psyched that day too. Kimberly, maybe one day I can fly on a broom. Just saying, I don't know hey, who it will be with. You never know. You never, you never know. know. Yep. You never mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, how did the uh, crew make Debbie's purse, you know, come to life uh, in the three movies I think that we've watched because it moves, it walks. It has a whole lot of stuff going on up in there. <laughs> it really, yeah, he was his own uh, his own entity. There was there was a lot of different effects. A lot of times he would be pulled along. Um, sometimes close-up shots were created where he, it looked like the bag was sitting on the pavement, but they kind of made a special layer of, I, I don't know, I would guess maybe, maybe not styrofoam, but something, you know, a mm -hmm. special like, layer that looked like the ground and then so they would kind of cut in and be able to feed stuff up through the bag yeah. and and have that effect of of it always being um full of of whatever debbie needed to be in there oh oh my goodness well you know this is definitely the movie uh i watch every halloween the halloween town the second one, the third one. By the way, Kimberly, why were you not in the fourth one? I'm just curious. I always have wanted to know the answer to that, but I'm like, I, let's just face it. I'll never get be able to get to speak with Kimberly, but I'm like, look now, here it is <laughs> happening right now. You should have been like, oh my gosh, you were like the face, you and Debbie Reynolds and the whole gang. Um, it, you know, it, it's kind of, it's something that I have to chalk up to just being in a crazy business. That was a decision um, that Disney made and, um, you know, there's, it's certainly yeah. not the, the only crazy thing that's happened to me in my career, you know, or, or decisions that are made that it kind of, you know, that are out of your control. But that was, yeah, that was one of those. And I certainly was, um, disappointed for the fans and everything, but they have, they've definitely been, uh, so sweet over the years. Um, you know, in, in support and everything. Yeah, absolutely. I think very well said right there, Kimberly. Now, do you think you guys will reprise your roles and come back like with a reboot? Because everything's getting rebooted these days. We would definitely be open to it if they are, for sure. And and I definitely get pitched um, story ideas literally every day. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, fans, yes. It, if, it, if I had to take like a poll of one of the things that I am most often messaged about on my social media accounts, it would be uh, where, you know, where the story could go now. And I, yeah. I've gotten some great ideas, but yeah, it's, um, it, it definitely seems like something the, the fans are, mm -hmm. are all behind as well. It would be interesting to see how Marnie is in adult life right now, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Especially in the world that we're living totally. in today. Would she have Absolutely. some kids that would have, you know, the, uh, the, the powers that she had in the movie, you know, like the magical powers? Hmm. That would yeah, be something that's definitely, yeah, 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 for sure. Huh, huh. Oh my goodness, maybe I gave some <laughs> ideas. Who knows, Kimberly, who knows? Anyway, now, <laughs> now, how has being part of the Halloween Town franchise really shifted and changed your life? Oh, it's, it's given me the opportunity to um, connect with so many people over the years. It's, I... I love the movies. I love that people have embraced the movies and I'm certainly t so touched that they have helped grow them into what they are today. But it's, mm -hmm. it's really been, um, it's really helped me so much to share in that joy with the fans because I will, I will have days where, um, I, I can remember a few specifically where I had like a meeting or an audition that was 
maybe didn't quite go the way I fully wanted it to. And then I would get a message from a fan online that would just give me the mm. sweetest, um, just the sweetest note about what the movies meant to them and what Marnie meant to them growing up. And, and it just kind of reminds me of why I go through this crazy business all the time. But uh, it has it has certainly brought me so much joy to um, share the story over the years with the fans and and hear the stories of of what it has meant to them and their families. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm sure those are the greatest things that you'll always take away from you know doing this movie is the fans, the feedback, the love, and how so many people have continued to love this movie for how you know how long it's been, which I think was like back in 1998 the first movie was filmed, and then the second yes. was in 2001. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. That's, Look at there. Yeah, that's correct. It's time for yeah. another one, Kimberly. It's time for another one. <laughs> We're all ready for it now. Now, did you personally get to keep anything from filming on set? Because I see sometimes occasionally when you will be in St. Helen, Oregon to light the pumpkin, you'll have your mm -hmm. witch hat on. I've always wanted yes. to go when you would light the pumpkin because it seems like something spelltastic that I would love to be part of and actually like just to get to see with my own eyes. You know, <laughs> I do. I have Marnie's outfit, uh, the whole purple cloak and the hat and the skirt, all that whole outfit from Halloween Town, too. I have uh, the producers were nice enough to give me a copy of the Halloween Town book after we finished the first oh, one. So cool. I have Disney gave me the uh, the bat puppet that's in Calabar's office in the first mm. Halloween Town movie. Mm -hmm. And I have a couple of other little random props like um like the broom in the second Halloween Town film that Marani carries around in her pocket. I got to keep like the stand-in broom that wasn't the full one that we used for camera, but that, yeah. you know, I practice with. And so the the props department let me keep that. So I've, I've got some goodies stashed away. Look yeah. at you. <laughs> keep them hidden. Don't let yeah. anyone see. Oh, my goodness. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Those are keepsake materials, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Now, Kimberly, you know, there was no happy ending for Marty and Cal in the Disney Channel original movie all the way like back in 2001. But you and Daniel, by the way, relationship goals right here. I find it the most cutest little thing. <laughs> you guys found oh, love with one you. another. Congratulations to you both. Thank you. Um, tell us, how did you two rekindle and fall in love with it? You know, if you don't mind me asking. No, not at all. It's um, it, it did not happen while we were filming. Everybody always wants to yeah. <laughs> ask about that. Um, we had a great time filming, but just were you know friends and and uh, you know professional um, uh, coworkers. But uh, mm -hmm. I guess we hadn't seen each other for about ten years. Like we had um, hung out a little bit socially after we finished filming the movie, but I we hadn't seen each other in person for about ten years and. We were still social media friends. So mm. I had reached out to him a few years ago um, asking if he would do some YouTube sketches for me on my YouTube channel to be a part of um, some friends and I were doing some stuff. And um, so he, we got together to kind of catch up and um, things after that all started just unexpectedly turned romantic. Aww. Oh, and look at you two now. I always love to see a photo. <laughs> I'm like, look at them. I mean, because it's like, it's like they're Marnie and Cal, but they're really, you know, um, Kimberly and Daniel. <laughs> you know, I'm, just like, I'm like, look at them. I'm like, oh my goodness, so we should just have a series just from those two, you know, from the uh, movie. <laughs> my goodness. It's certainly been fun seeing the fans' reactions and everything online. Um, the funniest thing to me, though, is that so many fans were like, oh, I've always, like, shipped Marnie and Cal from the movie. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, but Marnie would never have never have gotten together with Cal in the movies. <laughs> like she was not, you know, she was not mm -hmm. going over to the, to the evil dark magic side, but it, I get a kick out of, uh, you know, the fans like continuing the, yeah. the storyline and stuff when they see us. Right. Now, when you guys first went public with this, like what, what was your reaction on the inside? It was a little, it was a little overwhelming, to be honest, because the first thing I put up of us kissing, I think, went viral, and there was so many comments from fans, and I was so surprised that people um, were so interested, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's yeah. been fun to read, you know, so many comments of fans, you know, saying, like, watch out for your so your grandma's spell book, or, <laughs> you know, I, I can't believe you, you know, I can't believe oh. you're talking to him again after what he did to your family. So oh it's, my it's been fun over the years to, uh, to like engage in that with the fans. Now, Kimberly, when uh, fans notice you out in public, do they automatically think about Halloween Town and Marnie and want you to say anything specifically from the movie? 
That's probably the project I get recognized for the most often when I'm out. Mm -hmm. Um, and yes, sometimes they ask me to say (laughs) things like, you know, Halloween is cool. Um, and that sort of thing. And, and, but it, it just, it always makes my day to be able to, to say hi to somebody in public. Yes. And speaking about Halloween is cool. There's one thing that you can do is you can get a t-shirt. Now, uh, Kimberly uh, helps co-run an Etsy shop called Craftily Creative. I hope I said that correctly. I think I said it right. Craftily now. creative. Yes. Craftily you got it. creative. Yeah, craftily yes. Creative. Uh-huh. There we go. And it sells <laughs> Halloween town themed merchandise among other fun items that you can get online at this Etsy shop. Share more details on that. Like how did the whole idea come about with this? Because Halloween is cool was actually a shirt that you can get from the shop. Yeah, um, my friend Liz and I, uh, we love, we used to craft a lot on the weekends and now, now we can't as much um, on the weekends as, as, you know, as our schedules shift, but we took that love of doing it and, and decided to start listing some of the items on Mm -hmm. Etsy. I, I do, I was doing more painting at the time and she makes uh, greeting cards and gift tags. And over time, some fans saw it and started requesting me to paint quotes from Halloween town. Mm-hmm. And then it just kind of took off from there. More people wanted it. And I love a graphic t-shirts. It's kind oh, of, yeah. they're my, some of my favorite things to wear. Mm-hmm. So I started turning some of the quotes and the designs onto t-shirts. And uh, those, all the fans have certainly taken to a lot of those. Like the Halloween is cool one that you mentioned is in my handwriting on a shirt. Um, so we've had fun being able to, you know, we do hoodies and and uh, now we've done like some keychains with some of the fun characters from Halloween Town, but the fans have certainly grown the store like way beyond uh, what I could have ever imagined. Yeah. It was a fun hobby to begin with, and because I just I love being able to be creative when I'm yeah. not working. And now it's um yeah the, the shop keeps us busy year round. It's That's it's incredible. I'm so touched that the fans like it so much. That is such a smart marketing idea, Kimberly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You little genius, you. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. I mean, the, the fans have definitely kind of, they keep asking. I, we get suggestions all throughout the year of, okay, well, how about you do this? So how about do that? So yeah. it's usually like the most often asked thing, you know, over a certain mm-hmm. amount of time, we kind of go, okay, this seems like, you know, the fans would like this. And so it's it's been kind of a, I don't know, kind of a like a love letter back to them in the sense that they, you know, I get I to kind that. of just continue to share in the joy with them. Oh my goodness. Now, do you ever sign personally some merchandise and send it to the fans? Yes. Some people want their shirt signed or their, you know, different items signed. And then sometimes throughout the year we'll have, um, signed pictures and stuff up there too. But, um, yeah, it's been, it's been fun to, uh, to, to, you know, kind of have that extra relationship with the fans and, you know, their, their, (laughs) their passion for the movies is just, um it's just so flattering it's a little variety of something for everyone on the etsy shop well by the way i want to mention you have an event coming up galaxy con it's something you were taking part in this year with some of the cast from halloween town tell us more about that event because they can get i think fans can get a one-on-one video chat with you yeah absolutely it's um it's we're spending halloween day which is sunday the 31st obviously uh with galaxy con in a virtual comic con and it's Pretty cool because we're able to do a a virtual Q&A panel. Mm -hmm. Um, It's going to be me and Daniel Koontz, who played Cal, of course, and uh, Judith Hogue, who played Gwen, and Emily Roski, who played Sophie. And so we're all going to do a free Q&A panel. And then if people want to stay, they can get um, one-on-one video chats with some of us. And there's also a bunch of items up on the GalaxyCon site available for, like, personalized autographs. Mm. There's posters and photos from the movies and all that kind of stuff. So it's like basically taking sort of that aspect of uh, the uh, the Comic-Con and, and putting it up online so everybody, you know, uh, even outside of the United States can um, can click on and enjoy. Wow, it's like a con uh, coming to your house. Oh, my God. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a con from home. Oh, my goodness, the Galaxy Con. I'm going to have to take part in this, Kimberly. I might see you again. So, you know. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Galaxy Con is the place to be on Halloween Day. By the way, how are you and Daniel going to celebrate Halloween this year? Anything fun besides the Galaxy Con? We haven't really decided yet. I'm still kind of looking at some costume ideas. Um, 
I, I love to give out candy, so I don't know. We oh, haven't uh, we haven't really decided. Yeah, it's it's fun to kind of relive that that Halloween magic through kids' eyes and seeing all the fun costumes and stuff. Now, Kimberly, when the kids come in ding and dong at the house, ring the doorbell, do they recognize you? Say, oh my, God, it's morning. It's morning, like giving out <laughs> candy to me, or, or are they kind of still a little too young to notice it's you? <laughs> They have in the past. I actually used to uh, give out candy in my Marnie costume. Debbie Reynolds actually gave me the idea because she Fantastic. did it a little bit. She would put on Aggie's cloak and give out candy. And so I did it for a couple of years and loved just seeing that surprise look on people's face. But um, it, after a couple of years, it, it got a little out of hand in the sense that I had started getting visitors year round looking for Marnie to my house and stuff. So we had kind oh. of had to dial it back a little bit, but um, mm. I, yeah, it's, it, that's like the best part of Halloween is getting to kind of soak up some of that, you know, that yeah. kid magic. Kimberly J. Brown, thank you so much for joining us on our Halloween show. It is so great to have virtually meet you. Hopefully someday I can get to meet you in person, but thank you for all the great answers and lovely conversation. I, you're welcome back anytime, Kimberly. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. This was fun, and I I love the uh, the Halloween festivity. I hope you yes. I hope you have a great rest of your show. Yeah, this is awesome.